one weekend before we go. So this is the weekend before my son and I's uh, trip to Red River Gorge. We are out here today at Legends State Park. The snow is pretty much melted and we've got a lot of mud and a lot of water, but it's uh, a beautiful day. Temperature's in the 40s, so we're gonna do a, a quick overnight uh, camping trip here and do some hiking now on some of the trails. So hopefully we can kind of share some of this, uh, this footage and this beautiful day with you. Right now the snow is all gone and we've got a lot of water and a lot of mud, but uh, it's going to be a good day. Daniel's pretty excited, aren't you buddy? Kind of. Kind of. So <laughs> He's more excited for Kentucky, but uh, hopefully we're going to get some good uh, hiking in here today. So, just hanging out here where we uh, normally start our hikes at uh, when we come to the ledges. And you see behind me, the parking lot's a little underwater. We've got so much snow and uh, rain and uh, real fast warm temperatures that everything's pretty much melted off. And we've got a lot of flooding actually coming around here right now. So, the lower end of the canyon is actually closed. You can still hike up to it, but we actually had to park at the top end of the canyon here at ledges. So, a lot of water right now. Alright, so we're down here in the lower canyon here and the, uh, the stream that runs through here is uh, full of snow melt. Um, the road crossings are, are over water, so we're going to have to, I think, hike back out of here and find a better way to, to get across this stream. Usually you can walk right through it or uh, pop some stones, but this is uh, moving pretty good. Okay, so water crossing is a no-go. We're gonna go back uh, up the rim trail so we can access the canyon in another spot. Unfortunately, this uh, this trailhead kind of spits you out right at two water crossings, which are normal weather is very doable, but right now it's definitely a no-go. So we're gonna go back up the rim trail and uh, find another access point. Okay, well, Dan and I made it back up to the uh, top of the rim. 
we're working our way around before we get back down in the canyon. You can still help hear that water raging from here. But uh, it's about time to go back on some more icy steps. Well, it's been uh, fun down here at the canyon, but unfortunately our way out is also flooded out. So this bridge is, or the road crossing behind me is just way too underwater. And they have not repaired this bridge crossing behind me in some time. So we're backtracking again and it's going to be a brutal uh, hike back up. So we probably should get headed back that way. Oh boy. Daniel and I are here. He's angry. We have to go back up this uh, trail behind me and, and he's getting hungry so all the water so right. trails right uh, right over here Dana's gonna go up it right now oh, yeah. yeah so it's uh right up here here we go on our way back up back out of the canyon just walking back to the my car the trailhead it's really muddy at the top end of the rim so we're actually just walking on the uh, old or on the road that they kind of kind of closed off because of the, all the flooding but we're back to the car next uh next plan is we're going to be going to the uh, campsites there's a few hiking campsites uh at ledges that uh are maybe about a quarter mile back it's all flat walking on the gravel but it's better than nothing, so we're gonna get a quick overnight in here and uh, get us some food because I'm hungry and thirsty and get tired. Okay, not a lot of light in here, so. But. Got hammock set up just in time before we started supper. It started raining and snowing on us, so we're uh, just hanging out in the hammocks here for a bit until this blows over. It shouldn't last too long. But I uh, found a campsite that still had a lot of snow on it, so we're, um, my feet are cold, so I want to let this uh, moisture kind of blow through before we uh, decide to, to make some supper. If it doesn't lit up soon, we'll probably just do stuff under the hammocks. Listen to the rain. Daniel's hammock is over there. I'm in line. So this is the other thing we're having here. Spanish rice meal. Can I have oil No, you can't have oil But that's, that's what it is. You should have a little bit of boiling water on pot. Good to go. That's good. 
Okay, well, we uh, survived the night. We got a little bit of snow, a little bit of rain. It was cold, but uh, it uh, it worked out. So I think it got down to about the, uh, the mid-20s. Um, so a good test of my son's equipment. Uh, he said he got uh, cold at first and then he ended up getting too hot. So I think he was just kind of adjusting his underquilt. Um, mine was uh, just in a, I didn't get mine pitched right. Uh, pretty far uh, span for mine. So my lay wasn't quite how I like it, but uh, we made it through the night. A little tired, but uh, I had about uh, four hours of sleep. Actually, I slept good at, at the start, and then my son woke me up because he was cold. I could never get back to sleep around after about two o'clock. So, a little tired, but uh, not too bad. So, a nice, uh, cloudy, cool morning. And we're just walking back to the car. <laughs>